Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuide.com, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to set up your blog with Bluehost, one of the most popular shared hosting options available. I'll take you through the sign up and the setup so you can get your new blog online today. If you're ready, let's get started. When you're getting your new blog set up, you'll need two primary things to get it online a domain name and a web hosting account for your files. The domain name is what visitors will type in to their address bar to find your blog. As an example, it could be www.ryansfirstblog.com. As for the hosting, there are hundreds of different companies out there with different features and account types. But for this video, we're going to be choosing a popular hosting company named Bluehost.com. So let's go ahead and use the first site guide link to pull them up. So we'll enter www.firstsiteguide.com slash bluehost into the address bar. This will pull up the home page and we'll run through the options. So on this first page, all you have to do is click on the green Get Started Now button right here and then wait for the page to load. Since we're planning to start just one blog for now, we'll be going with this starter package on the left. In the future, if your blog grows or you'd like to start multiple blogs or websites, you can always upgrade to the packages that offer more web space and features. So let's go ahead and click on select right underneath starter. All right, so here's the domain name page we were talking about. Remember the www dot ryansfirstblog.com example. Here's where you'll search for an available domain that fits best for your new blog. So I'm going to type in Ryan's first blog and then I'm going to make sure that the dot com is selected and then click on next. Alright sweet it's available to be registered. Here's where you'll begin to fill out your account information starting with your first name, last name, your country, street address, city, state, zip, phone number, and also make sure that you have your best email address entered here for your account so Bluehost can send you your username and password so you can access your new hosting. As for the package information, we're going to be going with the account plan for starter at the 12 month price for this video. The setup fee is free, as well as the domain name registration, the primary one. If you'd like privacy enabled on your domain name for this account, you'll check this box right here. This means that Bluehost will use its information instead of displaying yours publicly online. I'm going to leave that box unchecked, but I do want to have backups for my account. So I'm going to select the Site Backup Pro checkbox right here. And I'm not going to need the domain security on this account. So I'm going to uncheck that box. I'm going to leave the Search Engine Jumpstart and Google Apps for Work boxes unchecked. I won't need them for this blog. You'll enter in your billing information down here, starting with your credit card number, the expiration date, and the security code. Make sure the terms of service checked box is checked here and then go ahead and click on next. Okay now that we've finished with the checkout page we are signed up for Bluehost and you'll see right here it wants us to choose a password for our account so we'll click on create your password. This is the page that will load up next and we're going to click this checkbox here to confirm that we agree to the terms of service and then we're going to enter in our new password. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on the green create button. Alright, so we just set our password and now we're going to enter that password that we just set to access our hosting. So we'll put it in here and then click Submit. 
Okay, so this is the Bluehost control panel that they set you up with once you sign up for hosting. There's a lot you can do in here, like update your billing information, you can change settings, and you can adjust your email. But in this video, we want to get WordPress installed so we can install our blog. So I'm going to scroll down slightly, and under website here, we're going to look for the install WordPress button and click it. It's going to bring up this page with a little information about WordPress. Go ahead and click on the green install button. Briefly make sure that your domain name is selected and then click check domain. On this page we're going to set a few settings up front so check the show advanced options box right here and we're going to enter in a quick site name We're going to make sure that the admin username is something short but memorable. And then we're going to leave the admin password as is. Scroll down just slightly and click the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions. And then click the install now button here. Alright, so as WordPress begins to install here, we're going to be taken to a WordPress themes uh, listing. Don't worry though, we don't really need any of these right now. So I'm going to hit this X and then it's going to show up top that the install is complete. If you want to look through these products here, there are some paid themes that run about $50 for each. But um, WordPress also offers a bunch of free themes that look great. So I'm going to go ahead and click view credentials up here in the top and then scroll down just slightly here to click view as the action. And then here's where our new blogs information is going to be. So we're set up at ryansfirstblog.com. I'm going to open that up in a new tab to check it out real quick. Here's a little placeholder theme that they install that we're going to go in quickly and change in just a moment but everything's live up here and we're good to go there. To access your WordPress dashboard, this is the URL that you're going to use and here's the username and password as well. So I'm going to open that up in a new tab, grab the password, I'll enter in my username and the password and then click the blue login button. So there's quite a few different sections to get familiar with in here, but right now we're going to go ahead and hover over the appearance tab and then click on themes. And what I'd like you to see right here is there's a notification that says our site is currently displaying a coming soon page. And once we're ready to launch our site to click here. So we want to click there real quick. And now our site is live. Our new blog is available online. So if we click here to check it out, we'll see the default WordPress theme has been installed. Here's where your blog post will show up on the right. Here's your site title and your site's description on the left, as well as a widget area. So we'll go back to our theme section and we'll click on add new and instead of uploading a theme, we're going to click Browse. And I'm going to find the Wall Street theme here on the right and click on the blue Install button. Once installed, I'm going to click Activate. And then if we go back to the tab we have our blog opened in and click Refresh, we'll see the changes happen live. Different colors, different sections, and a different area where our blog posts are displayed. Now that you have your new WordPress blog online, it's a great time to begin customizing it more and learning about how the dashboard works. We have a bunch of helpful video tutorials and guides over on our website here at firstsiteguide.com. We'd also be happy to help you out with any questions you might have, so feel free to contact us. 
Take care and enjoy your new blog.